Part 1, Henri Serblis, a city of contrasts in the heart of France, nestled amidst rolling hills and vineyards, lay the fictional city of Henri Serblis, a place where time seemed to slow down and the air hummed with a sense of tranquility. The city was a tapestry of contradictions, its ancient streets lined with grand boulevards and quaint cafes, its inhabitants a blend of old-world charm and cosmopolitan flair. At the heart of Henri Serblis stood the French Dispatch, an outpost of an American newspaper, a beacon of journalistic integrity in a world often consumed by sensationalism and prejudice. The Dispatch was a haven for writers, artists, and free thinkers, a place where stories were nurtured and ideas were exchanged with passion and fervor. Part 2, Arthur Howitzer Jr. The curmudgeonly editor The French Dispatch was the brainchild of Arthur Howitzer Jr., a Kansas-born editor with a gruff exterior and a heart of gold. Howitzer, a man of unwavering principles and a fierce dedication to the truth, believed that journalism was not just about reporting the news, it was about capturing the essence of a place, its people, and their stories. Under Howitzer's leadership, the French Dispatch flourished becoming a haven for journalists who dared to challenge the status quo and tell stories that others dared not touch. The dispatch's pages were filled with tales of love, loss, rebellion, and the human spirit, each story a testament to the power of words to illuminate the world. Part 3, The Dispatch's eccentric staff The French Dispatch was a motley crew of journalists, each with their own unique style and perspective. There was J.K. L. Berenson, the seasoned foreign correspondent with a penchant for the absurd, Herb Seen, the sports writer with a poet's soul, and Lucinda Crements, the society reporter with a keen eye for social injustice. Together, these journalists formed an unlikely family, their differences united by their common passion for storytelling. They shared meals, argued over politics and celebrated each other's triumphs, their lives intertwined in the vibrant tapestry of the French Dispatch. Part 4, Tales from Henri Serblis The pages of the French Dispatch were filled with stories that captured the essence of Henri Serblis, its inhabitants, and their struggles and triumphs. There were tales of love and loss, of rebellion and redemption, of the human spirit's resilience in the face of adversity. These stories were not just about Henri Serblis, they were about the world, about the universal human experience that transcended borders and cultures. They were stories that made readers laugh, cry, and reflect, leaving an indelible mark on their hearts. Part 5, A Love Letter to Journalists The French Dispatch was more than just a newspaper, it was a love letter to journalists a tribute to their unwavering dedication to truth and their unwavering belief in the power of storytelling. It was a testament to the power of words to change minds, to challenge perceptions, and to illuminate the world around us. In a world that often seemed consumed by darkness and division, the French dispatch stood as a beacon of light, a reminder of the importance of journalism and the vital role it plays in upholding democracy and protecting the rights of all.